Hi, in this video today, we are going to see how we can search an Excel file. So first of all, let's create an Excel file here. So this is my OneDrive and I create a file. I name it country capital file. Let's open this. In this scenario, when you try to access any Excel file, you need to have your data in a table. So I'm going to create a table here. For that, you need to go to insert and say table. And you need to select this my table has headers. So here my first column could be country and the second column would be capital of that country. I make some entries here like India, the capital is Delhi. United Kingdom, and the capital is London. So now we have these entries here. And if you see my this table name, because I would be needing this table name there in Power Automate. So the table name is, let me give it just like my table. And let's save this. Now my file has been saved. I go to Power Automate, click on New and then Instant. My flow name could be Search Excel and I will trigger this manually. So since I want to search my Excel, I am creating a parameter, input parameter that will basically hold my country name, which will be provided by the user who is triggering this flow. Since I need to access my OneDrive Excel file, I will select this option and I will directly select get a row. So this will require certain entries here. So I need to give my file name. So I have already my connection created as you can see here. So I should be able to access my OneDrive here. My folder name is Power Automate and the file name is Country Capital. So this will allow me to select my table name. So as you remember, my table name is My Table and the key column is Country. And the value that I am going to pass is my input parameter. So that is Country Name. For the simplicity, I will be just assigning the output to a variable. So let me initialize a variable. My variable name could be type a string. And the value that I am going to assign is capital. Let's save this and try to run. Okay. 
So here it is asking for country name. So I would provide India. My output should be Delhi. So this is successful and let me show you the output. So the output is Delhi. Let's try this one more time with some other country. So this time let me select United Kingdom. And I should receive London. So again this is successful and the value my this variable is holding is London. That's it for today. Thank you.